Although long time in coming, it finally happened. The Society of Philippine Motoring Journalists recently gave recognition to the various CSR projects performed by most of those in the local automotive industry. The awards night of the first SPMJ Driven to Serve CSR Awards was held recently at the ceremonial hall of the Marriott Grand Ballroom, as graciously hosted by Resorts World Manila. Here are some of the highlights and sidelights of the auspicious event. Congratulating the Society of Philippine Motorists, SPMJ, for mounting this actually wonderful event uh, here at our very own property. An event that recognizes CSR initiatives in the local automotive industry. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first SPMJ Driven to Serve Awards Night. Tonight is a night to celebrate good deeds delivered in wholesale by people in the auto industry. Tonight, we want to celebrate this basic human fact of life, goodness, and we want to recognize the people and the corporations who are behind these great projects. We, through this Driven to Serve Awards, we would like to inspire other people or other corporations to come up with their own CSR projects to pass on or to give back to the communities where they operate. And also, we would like to inspire others who are already involved in CSR projects to do better or to make their projects bigger and benefit more people. A pleasant evening to everyone and thank you for gracing the first ever Society of Philippine Modern Journalists or SPFJ Driven to Serve CSR Awards. I am one of the founding members of this organization. And though I'm not the sitting president, I'm honored to speak before you tonight because I feel strongly and passionately about this very special project of SPMJ. Tonight, we honor the automotive companies that have shown the most exemplary corporate social responsibility projects they are currently embarking on. It is truly an honor to stand before you tonight on this very momentous occasion, the first driven to serve awards. So tonight, even before the SCPMJ announces the winners in this first driven to serve awards night, I believe we are all already winners and that we can all take pride in being good corporate citizens. I congratulate all the automotive industry players who have generously committed company resources to undertake different kinds of CSR projects where they felt it was most needed. Tonight indeed, a night, it's indeed a night for celebrating good deeds and in behalf of the automotive industry, I thank the SPNJ and its sponsors for conceptualizing and organizing the Driven to Serve CSR Awards. Children need the sport of 
Honda Cars Philippines won the Road Safety Award. This is the gold. And uh, we've done a lot of activities primarily to improve the skills of the drivers to become more responsible for the safety of the people, uh, not only in the road but also in those uh, areas that uh, we believe that we can uh, contribute to the safety, motorcycle and automotive. So the Driving Skills for Life is our program that goes out there to try to educate uh, people and to be aware of uh, the safe, proper way to drive. So we also see that here in the Philippines. Sometimes there's a real need for it. If you're a new driver and you get out there on the highways, just how to be safe and how to be courteous to, to your other drivers. So we have this uh, program. We try to execute it around the Philippines, mostly here in the NCR area. But we usually get uh, dealerships and uh, different organizations that that want to sponsor and invite their customers to it. PGA Cars Incorporated for its PTRCA or the Porsche Training and Recruitment Center Asia. This is in partnership with Don Bosco Technical Institute, which started in the year 2008 and is still ongoing. We're very happy to receive award, a uh, gold award in uh, education and training for uh, Isuzu Tesla Training Center in Tacloban, wherein we are helping uh, some poor students acquire skill in uh, auto mechanic and uh, finding employment for them uh, after they graduate. Toyota Motor Philippines put together the Toyota Motor Philippines School of Technology back in 2013, brought about by the increasing demand for qualified technicians for our growing automotive industry, plus the fact that we could give better opportunities to the Filipinos. So we put up a school, it's a test accredited training center as well as a settlement center, and we cover NC1 to NC4 for automotive servicing, and now we're putting up the body and paint courses. We receive also a silver award in uh, environment for our uh, annual uh, environmental projects like tree planting and uh, mangrove reforestry and so on. So we're very happy with this award because it just showed that as a corporation we are a very uh, socially responsible partner. It's part of our mission to be a responsible partner for the environment and for the community. Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation for its Pata Restoration Project in 2012 and 2015. Toyota Motor Philippines. Kenya Blanca Sustainable Reforestation Project. This is a project that we co-opted with Toyota Motor Corporation Japan. It started in 2007 up to 2013. It's a six-year project and we reforested 2,500 hectares in Sierra Madre, in Peña Blanca. And after the reforestation project, the ultimate objective was for the community to have a source of livelihood. And we were quite successful in that endeavor. Even after the project was turned over to the local government, there was continuous monitoring of how the community has done with the livelihood projects that we left with them. Nissan Philippines Incorporated. For Nissan, we have been doing, we have this partnership with Habitat for Humanity. Uh, it's a global partnership of Nissan. And uh, here in the Philippines, last year, we donated house kits for um, disaster victims in Oras, in Samar, wherein we gave them house kits to rebuild their houses after going through that disaster of Typhoon Ruby. Um, and after one year, uh, they were able to rebuild their houses because of uh, that endeavor or that CSR effort that we've done. Fort Philippines! And the Better World one is, this is uh, for uh, the village of Leyte. 
that uh, we help bring clean, fresh drinking water to. So that was a project that we've uh, started three years ago and uh, we're about to uh, complete it. It's uh, basically uh, done at this point and so it's just a really great project uh, for us to try to help out that community. Toyota Motor Philippines. Toyota won the Community Awards Development uh, specifically for our project of uh, Toyota City of Santa Rosa Gawad Kalinga project wherein we house 160 families in Santa Rosa Laguna and we did not only uh, provide them with houses, we provide them also with uh, livelihood, multi-purpose hall and we are uh, teaching them Toyota ways. So we are teaching them in terms of uh, environment protection, safety and health, and even uh, our Toyota manufacturing processes uh, to inculcate with the uh, residents. Well, uh, I must admit, it was uh, something that uh, really had very short time to actually decide on. But it wasn't really a hard decision because uh, at Resorts World Manila, we like supporting you know, groups that actually support corporate citizenship. And part of our advocacy is actually helping out our communities. And when we got to know that SPMJ will be doing this kind of an event, plus it's the first ever, right? I mean, it's the first ever they're going to do it. So we'd like to support that type of an event. And we feel that in our own little way, we can actually not only support this, but also support the community communities that they're supporting by way of uh, helping them out in this venue. Congratulations to SPMJ for uh, this pioneering recognition awards for uh, corporate social responsibilities of uh, car manufacturers and dealers. Well, I really want to uh, thank uh, SPMJ for uh, bringing us together tonight to celebrate much more than just uh, the wonderful products that all these companies help bring to help uh, people, you know, make people mobile in their lives. I want to thank them for recognizing all the extra things that these companies do to enrich the lives of people in the community. And we saw that tonight in many different ways, ways that, uh, we're, that these companies really try to go out there and help whether it's uh, bringing water to uh, villages that uh, don't have clean, fresh water, or if it's just technical schools to try to bring people out of poverty. Uh, so there's a lot of great efforts out there that are being done by the companies tonight. Uh, in behalf of Honda Cars Philippines Inc., we would like to thank the SPMJ and its committee in this very first event that they held uh, primarily to award those companies who will give back to the community. And of course, uh, we in Honda Cars Philippines are very committed in doing all this activity of uh, improving the lives of the Filipino people at the same time to take care of the environment, road safety and everything that we can do to give back to our community. It's a, truly a surprise and a humbling experience to be acknowledged for work that came from the heart. And so rest assured we will continue to open our hearts to help out our fellow Filipinos. I hope it will continue because uh, it really um, inspired a uh, corporation like us to uh, serve more our partners like the people where we live and the community that we serve. So we'd like to congratulate SPMJ for a uh, very successful awards for the CSR projects of different car manufacturers here in the country. This is such a worthy endeavor. We are proud and like to once again congratulate them. First of all, we would like to thank SPMJ for this uh, very prestigious award. We are humbled by the recognition given to us for our CSR projects. We've been doing a lot of CSR projects, but this is the very first time that we have been given such uh, recognition. Okay, this is Martin Pass of Resorts World Manila, and I would like to personally invite not only the companies out there, but the industries out there to uh, help out and do their share in giving back to the community uh, we are all part of this. Businesses will not thrive if communities around us fail. So we are all in this together. Let's all help each other. Thank you very much. The first Driven to Serve Awards is Society of Philippine Motor and Journalist tribute to the members of the automotive industry and their outstanding CSR projects. Our special feature this week on Autofocus. Please watch out for an Autofocus one-hour TV special which will spotlight in its entirety the first SPMJ Driven to Serve Awards Night.